If you like taking portraits and images in low light, Tamron 17-50 f2.8 may just be the perfect lens. It's part of Tamron's DI2 series, which is designed exclusively for the APS-C size sensor. The 17-50 is optimized to work with these cameras to achieve a wide to medium telephoto and have great close focusing. The images you capture with this lens are extremely high resolution and very sharp. One, two, three, go! F2.8 is the fastest aperture available in a zoom lens. This means you can get much faster shutter speeds than with a traditional zoom lens. The focal length of this lens makes it perfect for portraits, events, and travel. And the size and the weight of the lens make it especially attractive. It's often difficult to get a clear picture in low light because the camera's shutter needs to stay open longer, which can often result in blurry images. Two ways to be able to stop the blur are to use a lens with a fast aperture and a lens that has vibration compensation technology. The Tamron 17-50 f2.8 has both. Low light does not always mean indoors, nighttime, or evening. Often the best quality of light, especially in the middle of the afternoon, is found in shaded areas. In these cases, the quality of light is very good, however, the amount of light may be less than ideal. By setting your lens to the f2.8 aperture, you let the most light in possible, which also helps to freeze action. The secondary effect of using a lens with a fast f2.8 is a narrow depth of field. This refers to how much of your picture is in focus. The result is a very dramatic image with a precise area of sharpness. You may notice that blur in the background. That's called bokeh, and this lens makes beautiful background blur. For shooting available light portraits, the combination of fast aperture and VC can't be beat. When you find yourself in really tough shooting conditions, at night or by firelight, the Tamron 17-50 shines as well. This image was shot handheld at one-eighth of a second, using only the bonfire to illuminate it. Tamron has integrated their proprietary vibration compensation technology to help you get better images. It works by using a triaxial system for the most effective results. As you look through the viewfinder with the VC turned on, it looks as though the lens grabs your image and holds it still. You may not think that it's a big deal, but look at the difference with and without VC. The quality and sharpness that you get with this lens, combined with the VC technology and fast f2.8 aperture, help you get what you see out there in here.